There's a beautiful story from the history of Al-Andalus where the Khalifa at the time, he wanted to find someone to marry his daughter. And the Khalifa, he doesn't just want you know, uh, anyone to actually, sorry, it was his son. He didn't want just anyone to marry his son. You want to find the best girl available. So he made a proclamation in the city of Cordoba. He said, if there is a family who has a girl that's of the age that's ready for marriage, meaning maybe, you know, 16, 20 years old, put a candle in your window tonight. And she's ready for marriage, sorry, and she has memorized the entire Quran. Put a candle in your window tonight. They said the entire city was lit up that night. The entire city was lit up because there were so many young girls who had memorized the Quran. So he said, Khair, my son can't marry that many women. So he said the next night, any of you who has a daughter who's of the age to marry, who has memorized the entire Quran, and also one of the certain books of Maliki Fiqh, put a candle in your window tonight. It was said again that night, not as much as the night before, but almost again the whole city was lit up by candles. I would dare to say that if we were to ask about our entire ummah today, to have one girl who's of the age to get married, who has memorized the entire Quran and one of the books of Maliki Fiqh, khalas, any book of Fiqh, we would not have a single candle in our windows tonight. This shows the state of the Ummah. And this is a sign that we see when our women are educated, the Ummah is strong. For the men to be educated, khalas, men are always going to be educated. They're always going to be needed. You're always going to need an Imam. But the true test for the Ummah is when the women are educated. You see today, most of our women, some parts of the world, the women can't even go into the masjids. They won't even have a space for them in the masjids, let alone educating them. You find khala, she knows how to cook and clean. Perfect, mashallah. This is all we need. No, they must be educated. This is why Andalus, it was seen as a high time for the ummah to know about Islam. No, I'm not saying for her to go to university and study liberal arts and accounting. I'm talking about Islam. To come to the Islamic centers and to know her religion. We must have this because she is the one who is going to raise a nation. The husband, you know, the father isn't there to raise the children. The mother is. If she doesn't know about her religion, what is she going to pass on? This shows how healthy we are. And the reality is an ummah today, we are very sick. The women know nothing about Islam and our men are very uneducated. So we have to turn this around.